The .300 Winchester Magnum is a popular, belted, bottlenecked Magnum rifle cartridge that was introduced by Winchester Repeating Arms Company in 1963 as a member of the family of Winchester Magnum cartridges. The .300 Winchester Magnum is a Magnum cartridge designed to fit in a standard length action. It is based on the .375H and H Magnum, which has been blown out, shortened, and necked down to accept a .30 caliber bullet. The .300 Winchester is extremely versatile and has been adopted by many shooting disciplines. The cartridge has found use by hunters, target shooters, military units, and law enforcement departments. Hunters found that the cartridge was an effective all-around hunting cartridge. The .300 Win Mag remains the most popular .300 caliber magnum with American hunters, despite being surpassed in performance by the more powerful .300 Weatherby Magnum and the newer .300 Remington Ultra Magnum. It is a popular selection for hunting moose, elk, and bighorn sheep as it can deliver better long-range performance with better bullet weight than most other .300 caliber cartridges. Military and law enforcement departments adopted the cartridge for long-range sniping and marksmanship. As a testament to its accuracy, since its introduction it has gone on to win several 1,000-yard competitions. Cartridge History Prior to the design of the .300 Winchester Magnum there were several cartridges that provided what could be best described as a Magnum level of power. The heritage of .30 caliber magnums can be traced back to the .30 Newton in 1913 and to the .300 H&H Magnum in 1925. Beginning with the .270 Weatherby Magnum in 1943, Roy Weatherby introduced a line of cartridges based on a standard length magnum case. This was accomplished by taking the .30 super belted rimless H&H &H case and having it blown out and shortened so that it could be cycled through a standard length bolt action rifle. Then in 1944 he designed the .300 Weatherby Magnum which essentially was an improved version of the .300 super belted rimless H&H, &H, a close variant of the .300 H&H &H Magnum. The Weatherby a Euro unregistered trademark S standard length Magnum case was soon noticed. In 1958 Winchester introduced three cartridges a Euro the .264 Winchester Magnum, .338 Winchester Magnum and the .458 Winchester Magnum, all based on the shortened and blown out .375 H&H &H Magnum case. The popular .30 caliber Euro unregistered trademark S emission from that lineup was not missed. Wildcatters soon produced the .30-338 Winchester and Norma Projectile Fabrique, who were by now manufacturing ammunition for Weatherby, took the standard length basic Weatherby brass and necked it down to .30 caliber and called it the .308 Norma Magnum. The .300 Winchester Magnum was introduced in 1963 by Winchester for use in the Model 70 rifle. The introduction of the .300 Winchester Magnum was not unforeseen. Rather, its introduction was anticlimactic. Winchester developed the .300 Winchester Magnum by taking the .338 Winchester Magnum, which was introduced in 1958, and moved the shoulder forward by 0.156 inches and lengthening it by 0.120 inches. This caused the cartridge to have a neck shorter than the diameter of the bullet. There has been some speculation that if the cartridge was released earlier, the dimensions of the cartridge would have matched the .30-338 Winchester Wildcat cartridge. Since its introduction the cartridge has remained extremely popular. The .300 Winchester Magnum's high availability in popular rifles such as Winchester's Model 70 and Remington Model 700 made the cartridge a popular choice among the shooting public. Although the .300 H&H &H Magnum, .30-338 Winchester Magnum and the .308 Norma Magnum had a head start on the .300 Winchester Magnum these cartridges soon faded into obsolescence. Only the .300 Winchester Magnum was to survive as a readily available cartridge. Other cartridges, while available, are more expensive. Design and Specifications 
The .300 Winchester uses the same case head design of the .375H and H Magnum, its parent cartridge. The taper of the cartridge was reduced to provide the cartridge with more volume so as to increase its potential powder capacity. The lengthening of the case and the move of the shoulder forward over the .338 Winchester Magnum allowed for the reaming of the .308 Norma Magnum or .30-338 Winchester chamber to dimensions of the .300 Winchester Magnum. The downside was a neck which was shorter than the caliber of the bullet it fired, which meant that the bullet had to be seated more deeply in the case. Both SAAM and CIP have provided specifications for the .300 Winchester Magnum cartridge. No divergence between CIP and SAAMI dimensional values exist for this cartridge. SAAMI recommends a bore diameter of 0.300 inches and a groove diameter of 0.308 inches. SAAMI recommended a six-groove barrel with each groove being 0.110 inches wide. Recommended twist ratio is 1 to 10. While case volume will vary from manufacturer to manufacturer, the typical Winchester case capacity is of 93.8 grains of H2O. The maximum pressure of the cartridge given by CIP is 4,300 a bar and SAAMI recommended maximum pressure is 64,000 SI. Performance the Winchester Euro unregistered trademark S factory ammunition for the .300 Winchester Magnum is capable of 3,260 feet per second with a 150 grain bullet and 3,000 a foot per second with a 180 grain bullet. The maximum point blank range for the 150 a GR bullet is 318 yards yards when zeroed at 270 yards. The maximum point blank range for the 180 a GR bullet is 300 yards when zeroed at 254 yards. The ability to zero the .300 Winchester Magnum and shoot without holdover to 300 yards makes the cartridge one of the flatter shooting cartridges. The .30 caliber is the most popular caliber in the United States. So it is not surprising that the widest range of bullets available is in the .30 caliber. The most useful bullet weights for the .300 Winchester Magnum are those weighing between 150 a Euro 200 grains. However, bullets weighing between 110 a Euro 250 a GR are available to the reloader for the .300 Winchester Magnum. Compared with the 30-06 Springfield the .300 Winchester Magnum provides about 300 a foot per second. This translates to about 20% greater energy advantage over the 30-06 Springfield cartridge. Due to the short neck, heavier bullets particularly those weighing greater than 200 grains and monometal bullets such as the Barnes X bullets will need to be seated more deeply into the cartridge. As the bullet will take up volume which could have been taken by the propellant velocity advantages diminish as the weight of the bullet increases. The .300 Winchester Magnum is known for its accuracy and has been used for 1,000-yard and 1,000-meter competitions. While in hunting situations such accuracy is unnecessary, such accuracy does aid in the extending the range of the cartridge. Taken together with its performance it remains one of the most useful and popular cartridges today. Although cartridges such as the .30-378 Weatherby Magnum, .300 Remington Ultra Magnum and the .300 Weatherby Magnum all exceed performance of the .300 Winchester Magnum none of these cartridges can be chambered in a standard length action. Few .30 caliber standard length cartridges can match the performance and versatility of the .300 Winchester Magnum. The downside to this performance is recoil. The amount of recoil the cartridge generates is a step up from the non-Magnum .30 caliber cartridges. Its recoil is about 30% greater than that of a .30-06 Springfield, which is known as a stout cartridge. This would put the .300 Winchester Magnum at the upper limit of what most shooters can shoot comfortably for extended shooting sessions. As a rough comparison, the recoil of the .300 Winchester Magnum is roughly comparable to a 12-gauge shotgun shooting 1-ounce slugs. This greater recoil can make the .300 Winchester Magnum, despite its inherent accuracy advantages, a harder cartridge to shoot accurately, 
when compared to non-Magnum .30 caliber cartridges such as the .30-06 Springfield or the .308 Winchester. On the other hand, recoil is subjective and one can get used to it with practice. Also, many rifles available today now have effective recoil attenuating features built into them, such as muzzle compensators and energy absorbing stocks and butt pads, that can significantly lessen recoil as it is felt by the shooter. Sporting applications and usage, the .300 Winchester Magnum has more than enough power to hunt all species of ungulate. It is particularly useful when hunting the members of the ungulate family such as elk and moose and is a popular cartridge among hunters for these big game species. Elk can weigh as much as 1,000 pounds and moose 1,400 pounds. Bullet weights of 165 a euro 200 grains are the preferred choices for these game species. Controlled expansion bullets such as the Nosala Partition or Barnes X are preferred rather than more lightly constructed bullets for these larger species of ungulate. Bullets weighting 150 a euro 165 a GR are adequate for smaller deer such as the mule deer and white-tailed deer. The .300 Winchester Magnum is an excellent cartridge for the hunting of sheep, as long-range shooting circumstances can present themselves. With its velocity, low bullet drop and ability to retain usable energy at an extended range, the .300 Winchester Magnum comes into its element when hunting sheep. Be it for chamois in the Alps, bighorn in the Rockies, Argali in the Famias or Moflon in the Caucasus the cartridge is an excellent choice for the sheep hunter. The .300 Winchester Magnum makes a good bear rifle. Both the black and grizzly bears are hunted using the cartridge. The grizzly bear can grow to be twice as large as the black bear and are among the largest predators. The Alaskan brown bear and the polar bear are the largest carnivores. Many consider the .300 Winchester Magnum to be on the lighter side of what is required for the largest bears but hunters have had success with the cartridge against these large Bruins. The cartridge is one of the more favored cartridges for African Plains game. Its ability to shoot flat and carry its energy efficiently with bullets of good sectional density and ballistic coefficients provides the cartridge the long-range performance necessary to take these game species at extended ranges. The .300 Winchester Magnum can be used to hunt everything from the Dick Dick to the Giant Eland. It is an excellent cartridge choice for all planes game under 1,500 pounds. The .300 Win Mag is a cartridge for big game hunting and long range shooting. It sees use in long range bench rest shooting competitions and has been adopted by law enforcement marksmen and by a few specific branches of the U.S. Military for use by snipers. Maximum effective range is generally accepted to be 1,210 yards with ammunition incorporating low drag projectiles. Sub 1 minute of angle accuracy out to 1,000 yards is not unusual in precision built rifles firing match grade ammunition. Recoil from the .300 Win Mag is higher than the well known .30 06 Springfield, which owes its popularity in part to the fact that it represents the upper limit of recoil that the typical shooter can manage without discomfort. Remington has made low recoil rounds called managed recoil available for the .300 Win Mag which recoil less and provide performance similar to the .30-06 Springfield. Military and law enforcement applications The U.S. government purchased MK-248 MOD 1.300 Winchester Magnum match grade ammunition in 2009 for use in adapted M24 sniper weapon systems and other .300 Winchester Magnum sniper rifles like the U.S. Navy MK-13s. This ammunition was developed as a .300 Winchester Magnum match product improvement and uses the 220 grain Sierra Match King Hollow Point Boat Tail Berry Low Drag Bullet fired at a nominal muzzle velocity of 2,850 a foot per second plus or minus 50 a foot per second. According to the U.S. Navy this ammunition should increase the maximum effective range of .300 Winchester Magnum sniper rifle systems to 1,500 yards decrease wind deflection on bullets in flight and use Hodgdon H-1000, a reduced muzzle flash propellant that remains temperature stable across an operational temperature range of a 25 a degree Fahrenheit to plus 165 a degree Fahrenheit. 
according to JBM Ballistics, using the G7 ballistic coefficient provided by Brian Litz, and a weapon employment zone analysis of the XM2010 rifle with various .300 Winchester Magnum ammunition types by Brian Litz, the MK248 MOD 1.300 Winchester Magnum cartridge, when fired at its nominal muzzle velocity of 869 AMS, should have 1,286 to 1,289 AM supersonic range under international standard atmosphere conditions at sea level. In January 2014, the U.S. Department of Defense annual testing report found that the older A191 or MK248 Mod 0.300 Winchester Magnum service round loaded with aerodynamically less efficient 190 grain Sierra Match King hollow point boat tail bullets fired from the XM2010 demonstrated adequate performance and lethality. Live fire tests were conducted in March 2013 against ballistics gelatin light material barriers, and other targets to determine the projectile a Euro unregistered trademark s ability to perforate targets. This was the first time the Pentagon a Euro unregistered trademark s director, operational test and evaluation tested the round, which can hit targets out to 1,200 am. Several companies, among them HS Precision, Kimber and Remington manufacture rifles chambered for the .300 Winchester Magnum specifically targeted at law enforcement agencies. The Chattanooga Police Department and Minute Police Department SWAT units and the LA County Sheriff's Department Special Enforcement Bureau which have adopted the .300 Winchester Magnum in some capacity. Due to the power and performance of the .300 Winchester Magnum cartridge the cartridge is more likely to be employed by specialist units within a police department rather than as a general service weapon issued to law enforcement agents. Military and law enforcement platforms A Finland, Sako TRG-41, a Germany, Bundeswehr G-22, a U.S., MK-13 sniper weapon system, a U.S., M2010 Enhanced Sniper Rifle, a U.S., M86 Sniper Rifle, a U.S., Armalite Model AR-30, a U.S., Remington 700 Remington Model 700 Police Long Action Tactical Rifle, a U.S., Savage Model 110BA, a U.S., Weatherby TR a Threat Response Rifle, Criticism, the .300 Winchester Magnum was designed with a neck which is shorter than the diameter of its bullet. If Winchester had released the cartridge prior to 1960 the cartridge would have been similar to the .30-338 Winchester Wildcat cartridge. However, by the time Winchester got around to designing their own .300 the .308 Norma Magnum and the .30-338 were already on the scene. To help differentiate it from the other .300 Magnums and to allow for the chambers of the standard length .300 Magnums to be rebored to the .300 Winchester Magnum chamber dimensions, Winchester moved the shoulder forward and lengthened the cartridge slightly. This created the long criticized short neck of the .300 Winchester Magnum. The short neck was thought to hinder accuracy because it would prevent the alignment of cartridge to the ball but this is rarely an issue either today or when the cartridge was designed. The fact that the cartridge has gone to win many 1,000-yard matches puts this criticism to rest. See also, 7mm caliber, list of individual weapons of the U.S. Armed Forces, list of rifle cartridges, table of handgun and rifle cartridges, sectional density. References. External links. 300 Winchester Magnum. How does barrel length change velocity a 16 a Euro cubed 300 Win Mag?